now we're looking at uh, reading Excel files. If you went to and looked at the reading text files, reading Excel files is not as difficult and challenging as reading a text file. So it's relatively easy to read an Excel file. So here's some code behind it. Uh, here's the code example of reading an Excel file. So first of all, we have an example here. Of, we have a variable here. A dim str cell value add string. So reading the value from from the cell, and then go ahead and writing the value from the, to another cell. Here I'm going to change the row. Okay, I'm going to press F8 to step through this, and uh, my first value worksheets ran, my buyers worksheet buyers 2010. Let's go back here. Buyers 2010 is my worksheet. Go ahead and see y'all can see this. Buyers 2010 is my worksheet. And then uh, cell H or what did I say it was? Uh, A9. Let's see if I can find A9 to show it to y'all. A9 is this May. So let's see if that's my cell value, May. Aha, uh -huh, so it's May. And then I'm going to write the cell to another value, or write the, write the value to another cell, that's cell H9. So now I'm done. Okay, that's basically all. We take a value from here, right over here. And uh, we've done that on uh, several different examples now so if you go back through some of the examples you're going to see this action take place so we're reading from the Excel file and pop populating someplace else maybe you want to add another another worksheet and then uh, let's say insert a worksheet and then we're just going to call this worksheet maybe uh, like one thing I worked on was upload Okay, so you want to upload it. You want to take things from here and put it into another form. So anything that says uh, anything that's uh, you want to upload this this particular this these particular values right here. You could take it from here and populate it up here or put it in any format you really really need it. So actually, we're going to take an A5 and put on. A1 on the upload sheet, or A yeah A1 is good. So here we're we're saying, let's say, and here I had an error probably because of that. So public public sub read Excel files. Or two. Uh oh, sorry. Public. I didn't finish my word here. Public sub. And I'm taking. I'm taking this code out of here because it's a save of time. Copying and pasting saves me time. <clears throat> so my value is going to be uh, cell A9. I'm going to put it on the worksheet, the upload worksheet. Okay, upload. And it's going to go to another, a whole other worksheet. If you have an auto, -fil auto filter, let's say, can't, you can only filter out and paste your changes on that same worksheet. Okay, this gives you out of the limitation. Uh, you can read it, filter it, based on if you find a value, you can loop through. Uh, you can loop through your cells. If you find a value, you can put it into another worksheet. So here I'm saying, okay, I uh, take this value may, and put it over here, put it on the upload sheet. Okay, that it's that simple. Here I'm taking, I'm taking the value from here, and I'm going there to upload. I'm pasting it right here. Okay, that's uh, pretty much it. That's what I use. Um, I'm doing. I, I do a 
I've done a project for uh, for an oil and gas company, and they do uh, the, it's reading a variety of sheets, and then uh, it goes in writes it to one sheet where they can upload it into a into an Oracle database. So but this comes in very handy for that. So anyway, I, I would suggest say you go ahead and use it for uh, to combat that auto filter limitation. Of just being able to auto filter on one particular sheet and paste your changes on one sheet. Okay, uh, this allows you to store your values on another sheet in your workbook or on another workbook altogether. But uh, I mean, you can let your imagination run wild, which with uh, with different combinations. So hopefully this helps, and uh, I will see you in the next video.